All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. So I got inspired for this video when I was driving down the highway, and I thought I better uh, run out here while it's still fresh in my mind. Um, got the 408 behind me, and uh, the clip that I heard on the radio, the guy was talking about. He was talking about like the virus and uh, getting vaccinated and whatever, and it was a radio host. And there was an actual doctor that called in and talked to the guy, and he said, you know, you say you've been doing research on this. You've done research on um, the uh, whether to get the vaccine or whatever it was. Uh, he said, but you're not doing actual research. You're reading. And my mind was like, how much of what we do as car people, we call research, but we're just reading things. Like, uh, one example, I've got my, I've got the Torker 2 340 intake uh, that I got from Dave. Um, I'm going to put this on my 408. I'm going to take off an air gap intake, uh, which is a real air gap. It's not a, not a crosswind or whatever. I'm taking off the air gap intake, and I'm going to put this Torker 2 on it, and I'm going to race the car because in the past I've ran a torque or two intake and had really good luck with it in a race car. Um, I think it's better suited for the race car so I'm going to try it. But then I thought about well if I wanted to actually you know do a little bit of testing that would be part of my research is if I after I get the car back going is to swap the air gap back onto it. Um, you know, people people test carburetors all the time. They test uh, intakes. They test distributors, headers, whatever you can think of. But I think that's kind of how you build your research experience um, in Mopar parts, especially. Um, I guess one reason I made the video or this video, um, I've got a buddy Aaron. He's really good at doing research, um, and when he does it, he shares it with me. So I, I appreciate that. Uh, I wanted to throw up a, a quick clip for you. He bought some 440 source rods um, for a 400 that he's building. And th this is like their stock replacement rod. Um, I think they're H-beam. I can't remember. But check out the clip and the differences in these bolt heads. He went ahead and ordered the rods. Whoops, if it'll focus. I guess the thinnest part is about the same as the ARP, which is right here in the middle. But it just, man... I don't know, but the underhead is quite a bit different. It's kind of hard to see. He looks them over, checks them all out completely. Like that's becoming part of his research. It's hands-on and he can share that with other people. But I know a lot of stuff like this intake, for example, I have read in two or three different places that the air gap is a better intake for a small block Mopar. And I guess it depends on what you're doing. Um, like I said, it's it's going to be a race car. It's going to be living 3,000 RPM and up. A Victor Junior might be better than this for what I'm doing. Um, but I think this is better suited for my camshaft than that intake. So I might actually end up uh, testing that one day, kind of swap them out and see what it'll do. But y'all let me know, how do you do your research? You know, if you want to buy some heads, you want to buy a cam, whatever, how do you start? I'll gladly look over and I can learn from you. Obviously, I learn way more from y'all than I do or than you do from me. What, however that works. But anyway, uh, I guess that's it. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll catch you next time.